Welcome to the Mobotics Recording Menu in Detail tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to use one Mobotics M15 camera. However, the same procedure applies to all camera models. And we will use a power over Ethernet switch and a computer as well. In this tutorial, we will talk about some details regarding on the recording menu which is located in the setup menu of the camera. To go to the recording menu, click Setup. Make sure that arming in the general event settings is enabled so the camera may record. Make sure as well that the event profiles which you wish to use are set up properly in the event overview menu. There will be an additional tutorial for Event Overview menu. Then click Recording. In the Recording menu, it is possible to set up the recording parameters of the camera. Before we start, we would like to mention that it is possible to click the question mark symbol on the top right of the menu to enter the online help and to find all necessary information regarding on the recording menu and it is possible to see the explanation of the settings on the right side of the menus. It is very important to mention here is that this menu is only about recording, how the recordings are configured, the configuration of the storage location where the recordings will be stored is done in another menu which is called storage on external file server slash flash device and there will be an additional tutorial for this menu. Just to mention briefly, if nothing is changed about this menu, the camera will record to its SD card as default. Now, we are going to talk about these parameters one by one in detail. To extend the menu completely, press More button on the bottom right of the page. Arming. To enable recording, arming must be enabled. The difference between this arming and the arming in the general event setting is that the arming in the general event settings is the main switch for recording and actions. Without enabling that switch, recordings and actions will not work. However, the arming in the recording menu only enables and disables the recording. It is also possible to select a timetable profile for enabling of the arming. Timetables can be configured in the timetables menu which is located in the admin menu. Digital signing. This is used to digitally sign the recorded image files using X.509 certificate of the web server. X.509 certificates can be managed in the web server menu of the camera which is located in the admin menu. Recording status symbol. Recording status symbol is the visual indicator which shows that the camera is recording at that moment. When the recording status symbol is on, it will be visible on the top right of the live image. The symbol will be steady yellow and turn to red and blink while the camera is recording when an event is triggered and recording starts. It will be steady red while in continuous recording mode and it will turn to green when the recording is terminated via terminate recording setting or when the actual camera time is out of the timetable time range which is selected in the timetable profile for arming. Terminate recording. It is used to terminate the recording permanently when the selected events occur. When this is enabled, a TR symbol will be visible in yellow on the bottom right hand of the image. When the recording is terminated, TR symbol and REC symbol will turn to grey. To resume the recordings, click here to resume recording must be clicked in the recording menu. 
it is very important to mention once again that this option must be considered very carefully because enabling the recording must be done manually after the termination. It is also possible to set a time delay before the recording has been terminated. So, the camera may continue to record for a certain amount of time before the recording has been terminated. Termination of the recording may be very important in such a case, for example, that a possible very important recording which has been caused by an event should not be missed or overwritten because of a possible small size of the storage media and continuous recording. Recording In Mobotics cameras, there are three types of recording modes. Snapshot recording mode, in which the camera records single JPEG pictures. Event recording mode, in which the camera stores stream for every event that occurs and continuous recording mode in which the camera records the stream continuously. If it is required to add audio to the recording, include audio must be selected. It is important to check whether the microphone is enabled in the camera in this case. This can be done in the speaker and microphone menu which is located in the admin menu. Snapshot recording. The events with which the camera will start recording can be selected in the relevant box. Snapshot interval is the time between the images in milliseconds. Pre-alarm and the post-alarm images are the number of the images to be recorded before and after the event. So, if the pre-alarm image is 1, and the post-alarm image is 2, and the interval is 1000 milliseconds, this means that when the selected event occurs, there will be 4 images recorded together with the event image between which will be 1000 milliseconds. Snapshot recording is not used in security applications in general. However, it is very useful when it is required to have pre-alarm and post-alarm images for a longer period of time. Since it is possible to have up to 50 pre and 50 post-alarm images, this option may give you an overview of what is happening during a longer time period with snapshot images and in less storage space consumption. It is also very useful in the applications, for example, to get a snapshot of a construction site in every 12 hours. Event recording. The events with which the camera will start recording can be selected in the relevant box. It is important to mention here that while the camera is recording an event, if a new event is triggered after the dead time of the event has passed, then the camera will stop actual recording and start a new recording sequence. Let's take a look at this. In the event frame rate, frame rate of the recording can be selected. It is very important to mention that the maximum frame rate of the camera is dependent mainly 
on the resolution of the live image and also other factors such as light conditions and so on. Recording time before event is the time before the event that the camera will start recording when the event has happened. And recording time is the time of the recording when the event has occurred. Retrigger recording. While the camera is recording an event, if it is required that the camera should continue the event recording on the top of the previous event, which is still being recorded, then retrigger recording should be enabled and the events for this purpose should be selected. This means that while the camera is already recording an event for a certain amount of time, if an event which is selected in the retrigger recording menu occurs, then the camera will extend previous recording while it does not start a new sequence. Let's take a look at this. Event recording is a typical recording type in standard security applications. Continuous recording. The camera will record continuously in this recording mode. In the continuous recording frame rate, the frame rate of the recording can be set. It is also possible to record a low frame rate continuously and increase the frame rate when an event occurs. In this case, the events and the frame rate and recording time can be selected in the relevant areas. Continuous recording may be used in the applications in which the event-based recording may not be enough to record all necessary footage. For example, in shopping centers and markets, it will be necessary to record continuously during the business hours in order not to miss any movement of the people. Stop recording. This is used to stop the recording when the selected events occur. If you are recording with the event recording mode and when the selected event in the stop recording box has occurred, the recording will stop after the time which has been set in the recording time after stop event. Unlike the terminate recording option, the camera will be ready to record once again when the recording that time has passed after the event to stop recording has occurred and the remaining time will be visible in the live image. If an event has been selected in stop recording, Recording will directly enter the recording time after a stop event. The settings for retriggering the recording are ignored completely. If an event has been selected in start recording, but not in retrigger event or stop event, this event will always start a new recording. The current recording is stopped and the camera records a new event. This will allow recognizing multiple events in combination with long recording times. Let's take a look at this.
full image recording. If it is required to record with a resolution other than the live image, then full image recording must be enabled. In another words, if full image recording is not enabled, the camera will record what is in the live image. In the full image recording section, camera selection, image size, JPEG quality, and text display can be set up independently from the live image of the camera. Please be aware that enabling full image recording will make the camera to generate a second stream which is independent from the live video stream. This will be an additional influencer for the overall frame rate performance of the camera. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to let us know.